Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com. I just wanted to pick up our tutorial where we left off. I've got our face open, and uh, as I said in the last one, I want to cover how to do actions today. And I'm not going to go into depth. Uh, actions only are available with one of the pro versions of Anime Studio. They don't come with debut. Uh, but I wanted to cover them because I really want to get to blend morphs, and blend morphs and actions are related. So, real simple, I'll show you an action. What is an action? An action is just a saved piece of animation. Um, you know, changes to your art that happen over time. And it's saved, so you can in import it into any timeline that you're working on, any, any scene that you're creating. Um, so, when we create an action, real quick I'll show you uh, for our eyelids. I'll click on eyelids folder, and I'm going to come up here. I've got my actions window open. If this wasn't open, what you would do is just go to Window, click on Actions, and that will open it up. Then click New Action, and we'll name it Upper Lid Closed. All right, now you can see my timeline has changed color. It changes to like a white background. That shows me that I'm in my action. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click um, Upper. And when I create an action, what it allows me to do is, once it's created and I'm in this action part right here, not in mainline, any layer that I make changes to, it's going to save those changes in that action. So even though I created the action on eyelid, it will save it to upper. So what I'm going to do, if I wanted a, let's say I want a two second eyelid close, let's start on frame one, I can grab my um, select points tool, select the bottom points, and then translate. Now what I'm going to do is go two seconds in to frame 48, and I can just move those points down, and rather than click and drag them down, remember we can do um, control and down arrow for small adjustments, or we can do control shift and down arrow for large adjustments, and we'll bring those points straight down. So now over 48 set over uh, 48 frames which is two seconds we have an eyelid closed so if I go back to the beginning and hit play it'll take two seconds for those to close now that particular action is saved up here as upper eyelid closed that means we can insert frame 0 to 48 in any animation that we create so we'll click uh, main line to get out of here double click it now you can see we're in our normal timeline and just to show you how to do that, let's say I went um, to frame 60, and now I want that, that uh, eyelid closed. I would just click on upper lid closed, and click this to insert it. And I have this pre-made action already inserted. So a few seconds into it, we start our eyelid closing. And then the nice thing is we can actually, if we wanted to, we can move this throughout our timeline if we needed to. So we can change when it happens. All right, this comes in really handy if you're doing a walk cycle or something. You probably wouldn't use it for a regular uh, eyelid blink. You might if it's something that you do a lot. But um, the nice thing about the actions is, like I said, they're related to blend morphs, and blend morphs are just handy. So in the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to use a blend morph um, and if you're following along at home, just go ahead and delete this from your timeline. Just uh, highlight it and hit delete because we don't need it in there. Um, but yeah, in the next tutorial, we're co we'll cover blend morphs and we'll create the eyebrows of our character to go with the blend morphs. Okay, visit CartoonLearning.com. Thanks.